Vegas Jay, how are you, everybody? Yay, and I'm Robin from Sacktown. It's rainy though, so I won't say you know it's all happy days over here. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we have we're noticeably absent of a guest. He's having some technical uh, difficulties. He's gonna try and pop in here on a temp, uh, an iPad or a smartphone. So uh, hopefully, as soon as he pops in, we will introduce him, and uh, I'll do Tiki time. So instead of going right to Tiki time. Because I have really nailed the uh, the mug and the rum. Again, we're going to go right to our scores this week, and then we'll come back. Hopefully. Hopefully, if our guest shows up, we'll come back. So, let's jump right to it, shall we, Robin? Yes. Time for our scores of the week. Cool things that Robin and I have found at the thrift stores and things that there should be bolos for you. Be on the lookout. And, yes, I have a cold. And yes, I've got some very white voice going on here. So bear <laughs> with me tonight. Okay. So as everybody knows, because come on, Christmas sells all the time. Uh, Jim and I paid, I think, $3 for this. And we just sold it um, for, I think, $25 plus the shipping. So yes. Yeah, so, and it didn't even come with a box. So it was just rubber band. And I think we paid like $2.50 or $3. So there you go, guys. Look for these cork back placemats. Ooh, and Joy's going to be happy about this. This is seven for all mankind. This is kind of like a holy grail gene. So uh, Jimmy Boy found these in Jason's neck of the woods. What? I know, a long time ago. Because guess what? Because we're on a thrifty uh, hiatus, and we went through our gene box, and Jim's like, holy moly. So, yeah, so he took a lot of photos. So I have like 50 pairs that I have to try to get listed. I have, I think, 12 listed now. So, yep, these sold quickly and the person was really happy. So look for these jeans, guys. Okay, and right on the skirt tails of Jason's webinar of the big furry plush webinar that he did. This is a no-name brand. As you can tell, I have no brand in there. But this was brand new with tags. And so I picked it up at Jason's Neck of the Woods again for $2.99. I know, dude, you got I'm scooping in. See? And you know what? You know those millennials that gave you guys crap at your last class? Like, dude, there's enough for everybody. Cause even you were in you and I were shopping. So you had some stuff. I had some stuff. So this went uh for a lady who wanted to buy it for her daughter's Easter basket. So happy days. Bye bye. <laughs> happy days. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Um, and this uh, is the uh, creme de la creme of jackets. It's a Perry Ellis, and it's a duck down, and it's obviously you know a snowboard ski. And this went into the financial district of San Francisco. Yes, I did Google the address because he had a really cool name, and I was just like, "Ooh, I wonder if he's someone really important." Obviously, he is, and um, yeah, so he loved it. It went straight to his office. So, and then nice. I think. I think we paid four bucks for this because we bought it off season. See, get your jackets off season. <gasps> there you go. All right. So I picked up this little Roxy, uh, little carry on luggage piece here for five 99 and sold it for 42 bucks. It was only up for maybe four or five months. Not too long. Nice. And, uh, Oh, someone's popping in here. Hey, look at that. It says Dawn. It's Dawn. Hey, here. Dawn. Yay. Hey. All right. So, so hold tight. Hold tight. You know, <laughs> We're going to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to this. Hold tight, please. Everybody hang tight. The mayor's Hold here. <laughs> All right. It's time for Jay's Tiki Talk. Each week I drink a different uh, rum of a different mug and I try and match it up to my guest. And our guest this week, <clears throat> excuse my voice, man, is Don Williams. Hello, Don. Hey, Jason. How you doing? Good. And now Don lives in Lincoln City. And Don, what is Lincoln City famous for? <laughs> Uh, I guess uh, kites and glass floats. Glass floats. I'm glad you said that because I don't have a kite tiki mug, but I do have a glass float tiki mug. So the Look glass that. float That's festival nice. happens, ha happens in Lincoln City. So I'm going to drink that. And mm, hey, thank you. Our guest, That's awesome. Our guest is Don. So I'm drinking some Don rum. See? 
Get out. Nicely <laughs> done, Jason. There Ladies we go. I wish I, I think a... that was one of the best <laughs> matchups. Very nice. <laughs> so, Robin, what are you drinking tonight? Oh, oh my gosh. Did you ask what I was drinking? Let me see. Let me sip for my Subway mug. <laughs> so, you know, I can't have any alcohol because I'm on chemo. So I'm having a little bit of Diet Coke in a uh, that is Subway nice. mug. You're done. <laughs> All right, Don, because because okay. we had to go mobile with you, just hang out. I'm going to turn your, your volume down for now. Just hang out and enjoy the show, and we'll be back with you in a little bit. Thanks. Yeah. All right, so let's get back to my scores. Uh, luggage sold. Okay, yes, next. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, I did not iron next. this one. I sh probably should have, but it sold so quick. $29. Look how bad it is, Robin. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, oh, my. that's probably the worst uh, ever for <laughs> wrinkles. But it sold very quick. It was only up for maybe like six hours. And I paid three bucks. Wow. For Sometimes poo stuff doesn't sell because there's just so much of it. Yeah. But uh, this sold quick enough, and I didn't iron it. So yay. <clears throat> Young uh, millennial Ooh. boys like mm -hmm. edgy sports coats. They don't like normal sports coats. So this is a Volcom sports coat with angled pockets, funky uh, oh, lining. Oh, look inside. But it's only a medium, so not real big. And as you can tell by the cool designs, uh, it was up for quite a while, but I paid $7.99. I sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. And then every week I got to share a cool uh, CD score. Yes, there are some rare beach boys cds this is a huge bolo put it down take out a pen write it down right now spirit of america there's a couple different versions this is the normal version and i pay 10 bucks because i i sell it all the time i know it's worth and i sold it for 40 bucks nicely done i have a very rare version that i paid 54 so when that sells i will be sharing that all right you've seen our scores now it's time for Time for our duds of the week, brought to you by Worth Point. Had Robert and I use Worth Point, we probably wouldn't have these duds. Oh, dude. Okay, so you guys, this is a really cool thing, except for uh, really bad photos, duh, and the fact that this thing weighs, I swear to you, like 15 pounds, so the shipping on this thing is redonkulous, and uh, the reason it's a dud is because the lady bought it and then she freaked out because of the shipping but i can't do anything about the shipping because it's gone up so i tried to work with her she didn't want to do it and ah, whatever so i think i'm just gonna like uh give this to my little neighbor kid down the street because it's just it's odd shaped it's heavy it, ah, and it's missing the the um thing on the top which i think is like a little an actual Tinkerbell and it's supposed to be a music box and it's not, it's not working. So we only paid like, I think four bucks. <laughs> that's, a, so. that's a lot of issues. <laughs> yeah. It's got to go. Okay. So this is not a dud per se, but this is coming back to me because this is one of those things where the buyer just did not read the information. And I noticed on this listing, Mm hmm. I forgot to put it where you put the little, you know, like a uh, item description so that it went on the phone on mobile. It shows. Yes. So but I did take the photos of the ripped collar. Um, so what I'm going to do is like I was telling Jason, I'm going to come back. I'm going to bring it to a seamstress. We're going to fix the collar and I'm going to sell it for more money. I'm going to I'm going to win. I'm going to win this thing. Just saying I'm going to win. Going to win this. All right. So <laughs> when win. I bought when I bought two of these, they were actually selling for about 35, 40 bucks. I almost passed it. My lifeguard Bridget said, go get them. Well, yet he must have cooled off, no pun intended, mm -hmm. because by the time <laughs> I sold mine, which were both this week, I only got $13.99 for them. And just really, and free shipping. So it just wasn't worth my time. Maybe if I would have listed yeah. it sooner, it would have been. And at the time I listed these, they were worth a lot more. But as time moves on, DVDs keep getting more and more, you know, left in the dust and so by the time i sold it which i, I paid eight and i sold it for 17 i thought i was going to get like 50 at the time and <clears throat> when i did my inventory uh this year i realized that uh, it wasn't selling for nearly what it what it should be so i had to bump it down then i sold it on sale so there are still some good dvds out there but that wasn't one of them 
<laughs> Ooh, I love that sound. <laughs> Time for where in the world did our shit go? Robin and I show you where <laughs> did our things go internationally because if you are not shipping internationally, then you are leaving money on the table. There are 7.3 billion people in the world. They should all have the chance to be your customer. Yay. Okay. So my Barbie ornament went to Milan. So Milan, it went to Milan, Italy. So, uh, and they loved it. It just takes a little longer to get to Italy and yeah, it's a, sometimes their customs is a little tricky, but but otherwise I'm still sending it. So they loved it. It took about ooh, it took it took a long time, but it got there. That's all. I, that's all I care about. <laughs> and mine this week was a uh, Pluto uh, popcorn bucket from Disney World, and it went to Bangkok, Thailand. Nice. So I bought it for ten, uh, eleven bucks. I got popcorn, so I got my snack. And then I sold it for then I sold it for 29 plus shipping to Bangkok, Thailand. So as you can see, our stuff goes all stuff goes over all the world. Yeah. All right, now it's time for our thrifty tip of the week. This segment is brought to you by stamps.com postage on demand. Print your own postage and shipping labels in seconds right from your own home. I have a feeling I will not have any voice by the time this show is over. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So my tip is don't get attracted to the things that you bought once and that didn't sell and then got donated and got hung back up. Oh, get this out. This is a vintage hat from the Sahara RV Park, uh, the Sahara Casino and Hotel. Oh. And I bought it once and it, it sat and sat and sat and sat and I just redonated it. And I was leaving through the hats, and it caught for one split second. It caught my eye, and I went, "No, I redonated that. Do not purchase <laughs> the stuff you have donated to the store." That is my thrifty. No, tip. no. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is my little meme for all of us because you know we've been there. We walk into a thrift store that we don't know, and we're looking for carts or baskets, and there are none. So my thrifty tip is this. When you don't know the store, I always pack in one of those big old IKEA bags because you can fold it down to nothing, like seriously, to nothing. And it has saved my butt many o times. And they're easy because you can just like drag them on the floor or you can throw it over your shoulder because you can put a San Marcos blanket in there. You know, I'm just saying. So that's my thrifty tip because that's what happened uh, to a friend of mine. And she called me like totally just freaking out. And I said, you got to have your IKEA bag. And she was like, what? That's a great idea. <laughs> so, yeah. So, apparently, now YouTube is, uh, Angelique Smith uh, wrote the word shit in the chat, and it said, are you going to allow this? <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so, I allowed it. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now it's time for... <laughs> You have got to be shipping me where Rob and I give you tips and tricks, what to do and what not to do when it comes to shipping your goods on eBay and other websites that we sell on. Okay, so this is actually um, a, a picture off the internet, but this is what happened to my sister. So she orders a lot of Legos for her boys, right? Um, yeah, it came but it came with brown paper on it. So she thought it was a box and it wasn't. So my, my thing is like, dudes, when you guys are shipping stuff and you got a nice box, the kids love the boxes. So can you please pack them in another box? We all do. So just be a better shipper. <laughs> just be a better <laughs> shipper. All right. So look, we all used, we all used FedEx smart post. If you listen to my mom and dad, they, they, they pushed the, the limits of it. And, since the rate increase, it ain't working for us. But you know what is? Something I had not noticed nor used before, and that is FedEx home delivery. <clears throat> it's Ooh. pretty quick, and the price is pretty reasonable. FedEx home delivery is faster to more residential locations than UPS ground, and the mm. prices aren't bad. So if you compare something big, ooh, excuse me, FedEx home and FedEx smart post, FedEx, FedEx home has been a lot cheaper, but it is an option on eBay. So if you've got that big thing, definitely check out FedEx Home. Uh, and it can't go to PL boxes and it can't go to a business. The majority okay. of our customers are just people at their houses. Right. That's cool. 
All right, now it's time for. Oh, oh. Time for our eBay tips of the week. Little tips and tricks that'll make you have better eBay sales, make you look better, blah, blah, shah, blah, shah, blah. <laughs> shah, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. So, everybody, you'll have to come back and watch this video because we're going to kind of go through fast. But this is so cool, and I want everybody to do it to their stores if you have a store. So, in their upper right-hand corner where it says manage my store, you're going to click that button. Next slide, please. So manage my store right there. Okay. Oh yeah. So thank you for pointing that out, Jason. Um, wait, you got you. That's the last slide, boo boo. Oh. What? Um. Hmm. Well, when you get to there's a point where you, <laughs> the next uh, it should go These like are the edit. Four pictures you sent me, girl. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, we'll just we'll we'll wing it. We got this, Jason. So once you hit manage my store, on it, it'll bring you to another screen, and on the left side of your um like all your editing and stuff. It says edit store. You're going to hit edit. It'll open up to this screen right here. And what I want you to do is scroll down slowly on your, on the page till you get to featured items. And what happens is you'll find most people in their stores don't feature items. And so there's these four blank squares. So what you do is there's a plus sign in the middle of a square. You hit it and then it shows all the listings that you have in your, that are active in your store. So I just picked some good ones to showcase. It's basically showcasing some items that you'd like to, uh, you know, when people come to your page, home page, it, it'll feature it. So then what you do at the very bottom, which is the last slide, it's just to show the publish. You have to publish it so that it, it sticks in your in your featured items in your store. And then what I do is I do that about every two weeks, I change the featured items just to kind of showcase different things. And since Joy has been talking a lot about jeans, I thought, oh, I'll be showcasing some jeans. And then I've got this really cool PayPal thing and I got this really cool PS4 shirt and you know, la di da. So that's it. So please. Yep, I do it all the time, but I never thought about ever mentioning it. So good job. All right, yeah. look, we have talked about this before, but since, uh, it was a hot topic in the thrifting board today. If you're not in the thrifting board, it's my Facebook group, free of charge. 38,000 members uh, talk all kinds of thrifting and eBay. Sellers are holding buyer feedback hostage, waiting to get their feedback. Mm -hmm. It's silly on many, many reasons, but the main, the main point that it's silly on is a waste of your time. Your customer buys something from you, they pay, that's all they gotta do. Set it up automated, make it easy. So you just, you go down on your seller hub and go to manage automated feedback and then just click off automatically leave the following positive feedback when the buyer is paid for the item and you can have more than one comment. So I have great communication, a pleasure to do business with. Thanks for the quick payment. You rock <laughs> for being my customer. Yay. And then save comments. So eBay randomly grabs one of those five. As soon as the buyer pays, that's all our buyers have to do. Do not hold your buyers hostage for feedback. Yeah. It's a silly waste yeah. of time. It's mm -hmm. just get it done. Like those, those that are thinking it's a good thing, join me and Robin and Joy and Don in 2018 and sell like it's 2018. This is not the Wild West anymore. <laughs> buyers want to feel warm and welcome. And when they do, they shop. Yeah. That's that's a very true statement. All right. And last but not least. <laughs> the so good, crazy. the rad, the ugly, because we all know ugly sells. Would you buy this lamp? <clears throat> I should have. I left it behind by accident. So my, mine is happy and sad. I sold this kick-ass camouflage evening gown. <laughs> that is so badass. But, but... It's coming back because the top was too big. Dude, but just it is stuff a, it. Yeah, it is a badass evening gown. Now, some, someone loved it. And you know what she said? She said, yeah, the top's too big, but I loved it. Oh, <laughs> girly. So one, man's, one man's camos, another man's. I love it. So <laughs> I don't love it. pass up crazy dresses. I love oh, it. then Robin, you yeah. have yours. You oh yeah! Oh my god! Head. Mine's mine's like okay. You guys ready? Because like you really want this is crazy ugly, like so ugly. Bam! 
That's so ugly. Look at it. But you know, so it's, it's going to sell, right? And it's a, uh, let me wait. Let me uh, see if uh, I can uh, say it. Cause it's a Perry Cardon, Cardin. Car How do you say that? Well, Pierre? Oh, no, no. Let's hear that again. That was fun. <laughs> Perry Cardon. Yeah. That's how you say it. <laughs> it's like Tarjay. <laughs> yes. But anyway, it's Pierre got the Cardin. tags. It's like <laughs> 1970s special. Whoop. Whoop. I should wear this to eBay open. I'm just saying. <laughs> That's a pretty badass, ugly top there. Yeah, so I'm going to sell it. So anybody wants it, you let me know. I'll hook you up. <laughs> All right, before we get to a little housekeeping, a little we want to bring on a little bonus guest tonight. Uh, that is the one, the only, Joy Williams, who is one of the lifeguards in the thrifting board. Joy is our resident expert on uh, all things denim, especially Levi's, and she's actually teaching a class in the Chicago area. If you've never seen the documentary, and it's on, I think it's still on um, Netflix, called Blue Gold, and you're a thrifter, and if, if you've ever bought jeans or never bought jeans, go watch Blue Gold. It'll blow your mind the kind of money in jeans. Now, will oh, most of us awesome. find those crazy $10,000 pairs? No. But we'll... Can we find $100 pairs, $200 pairs? Heck yeah. And Joy's the one to teach us about that. So she's actually going to give us a quick little jeans lesson tonight. And I want to uh, profile her class coming up on Friday, March 16th, <clears throat> 9 a.m. in the Chicago suburbs, uh, buying denim for resale. I love selling jeans. Joy, I bought some. Joy, I bought some kick-ass vintage Wranglers today. Ooh. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, yeah. They are kick ass. So what's what's a little tip you want to give everyone watching about jeans? Okay, so I've mentioned this tip um, in, in limited amounts of time, but I've never talked to the whole group about it. So one of the things that um, people need to know is about how to measure the waist of jeans. It turns out that a lot of you are doing it wrong, <laughs> which is you need to measure the waist across the back of the jeans. You don't oh. measure the waist across the front. Okay. Oh, okay. When you lay your jeans flat to measure, you're supposed to measure the waist across the back. Okay, there can be an inch, two inches, sometimes, you know, depending on the cut of the jean, even more difference between the front and the back. And here's why the back of the waistband measurement, if you stand up, put your hands on either side of your hips and then sit down. The way your body sort of spreads out when you sit down determines really whether or not you're going to wear a pair of jeans. You hear women say all the time, oh, my God, I love those jeans, but I can't sit down in them. <laughs> that is why that measurement matters. That's the true test of a pair of jeans. Can you zip them and can you sit down in them? And the true measurement is across the back. Now, sometimes they'll match up front and back, but oftentimes they don't. And it can be as much as an inch or two difference. And so when wow. we hear people say, well, the measurements were in the listing. If you didn't measure them properly, it doesn't matter what number you put in there if, if it wasn't done correctly. And so I, I took a couple of pictures and showed Jason. These are some of the ones where it's off by an inch. But you know what? An inch makes a difference. You're oh, gonna, it's either yeah. not going to button or it's going to be uncomfortable when you sit down or it's going to gap in the back. You've seen women when they sit down and they have that gap back there. We don't like that. So you want to <laughs> make sure that you're measuring those jeans across the back. And then the other thing I want to say is, I, you know, I research jeans every single day. And I still see so many people who are using their finger or a pop can or whatever else to hold the tags down. I have this little pair of white tweezers and I specifically chose the white tweezers because most of the jean tags inside are white. And I use the blunt end of the tweezers, not the pointy end, to hold down the tags for pictures. So nice. less than a dollar, you can keep your fingers out of your pictures. <laughs> please, nice. please. That's hey, a good 80 that. cents well spent. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm begging you. And, I, and don't use don't use a pop can. Like, I see open pop cans. I don't get that. That I, I, is it, so crazy. It befuddles me. It befuddles. <laughs> now, look, I did, when I was selling jeans for a lot of years, I didn't know you should, you're supposed to measure the back. And, and once I learned that, I was like, oh, man, I've been a little off on my jeans. And you're right. An inch makes a difference. You know, no, when, yeah. when, when you're losing weight or you're gaining weight, mm -hmm. that inch makes a hell of a lot of difference. So you got to make sure, so you, gotta make you know, going back to Le 
taking feedback hostage. Uh, I have my my uh, return set up for just easy peasy returns. That mm-hmm. woman got that camel dress. She loved it, but it was too big in the top. And mm-hmm. so it's coming back. No biggie. <clears throat> I'll sell it again. Now, maybe I'll remeasure it. Maybe uh, maybe my assistant who did measure it, who's not with me anymore, maybe it was, the size was a little off. But try clothes is one of the trickiest ones. Because yeah. you can try on clothes when you're in a store, but you can't try them on on the internet. So, right. you know, we want to make sure we're very, very accurate. And even when you're accurate, Sometimes, even though the measurements are there, just for whatever reason, the cut ain't right. Doesn't matter. Well, <laughs> the other thing customer. about measuring, real quick, that I just want to throw in there too, and I know I put up a post about these pairs of jeans, but it's been a while. Is when you measure your inseam, don't forget to do both legs. I bought this pair of jeans. I took its pictures. I did everything. I measure last. That's just my process. I measure last, and these jeans have a two-inch difference from one leg what? to the other. What? Oh. If I was not measuring my inseam, both legs, I probably would have listed them and not noticed. But my process is to, you know, um, I'm like a construction worker. I measure twice and cut once. Okay, nice. So I always measure both legs. And so I would have sold those jeans. Those would have come back to me for sure. Oh, yeah, and I might have sure. even gotten bad feedback or an INAD for this pair of vintage Levi's because I didn't put both leg measurements. All right, so give us a real quick stats of your of your class, what's happening, how, how they get in touch with you. Okay, so there is a post in the thrifting board. Um, it is Friday, March 16th. We start at 9 a.m. And it's limited to 10 spots, but we will shop two different ch- uh, chain thrift stores. So we can talk about the differences from one kind of store to another, to another. compare and contrast, the discount days, and what you might expect to see, uh, what's kind of their normal price point, um, from store to store because they are a little bit different. different and we'll talk about how to ship jeans we'll go through the rest of the store as well I mean we'll predominantly focus on denim but we will touch on the rest of the store and then we go to after that's done we spend till about 1 one thirty between the two stores and then we'll go to a pay your own way lunch and we'll talk about what we bought and any other questions about thrifting or jeans or denim or whatever sweet Sweet. Then if, if you're not on the thrifting board, you can message me, uh, drop a note down here on YouTube, message me on Facebook. Uh, you know, well, I'm wait, everywhere. A so, wait a minute. If yeah. you're not on the thrifting board, then you need to be. We need you yeah. on the thrifting yeah. board. <laughs> so, Joy, I'm going to say thank you and uh, we'll talk to you soon. But head over to the chat, Joy. There's a lot of questions. So, Joy's going to come over to the chat and answer your questions for you guys. Yeah. Okay. Yay. Bye, everybody. See you, Joy. Come West Coast. Come West Coast. Right. I need you on West Coast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Speaking of classes, let's talk about the Kansas City class. Oh, we Woo! can't because it's sold out. What's happened in Kansas City? Yep. My next class is in Kansas City. <clears throat> my good friend Kim is helping me. <clears throat> Excuse me. My, my voice is just shot today. Uh, we are going to teach a kick-ass class. But what isn't sold out just yet but getting close is the event that I'm going to be speaking at in conjunction with my Kansas City class. So if you're in the Kansas City area, the Reseller Fam Live event 2018 is happening March 8th through 10th. That's next weekend. It is sponsored by eBay. Tons of great speakers. I am one of them. I am teaching a class in how to, uh, if you only have an hour, say you go thrifting on your lunch break, how do you conquer an entire thrift store in one hour? And so today I was at the Savers, the big one near me, and I was taking some pictures and getting ready for the presentation, Robin. And one of the tips I use is look for the weirdest thing in the sweatshirt section and just stop at that. If you look about seven things in from the right, there's that beige looking sweatshirt. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so that caught my eye and here's what it was. And I can't find any currently on eBay or sold recently. It's from the 90s. Come on, Jimmy boy. It is the Indiana Jones adventure wear line. Oh, what? So this what? is a pullover, heavy-duty sweatshirt. There's the tag. And so those are the kind of things I'm going to be teaching at the Reseller Fam live event. Nice. So just head over to resellerfam.com. Oh. Put it right back up there. <clears throat> 200 bucks for the whole weekend. Tons of speakers, tons of hangouts, a lot of great content. It's going to be awesome. So come join me. Now, those of you who are not in Kansas City, but who are in Dallas, my first thrift class sold out like that. So we added a second thrift class. Because look, I know you guys want these classes. 
and I am going to be there for you. And I know you're like, Jay, you got to show me what to do and what to buy. Jay, teach me how to keep my eye on the prize. And I'm going to do that. So because class one sold out so fast, I added a second class. So the March 23rd class is sold out in the thrift store. March 24th is my classroom class that I just gave in LA. That's like a four and a half hour class of everything from what to look for to how to ship it. But the bonus is I'm having two guest speakers. I'm having everyone's favorite Texas girl, two Texas girls, Texas gal treasures, Margaret Collier. It's going to pop in and talk a little bit about jewelry. And Stephanie Inge, who runs the big eBabes and emails meetup group, is also going to stop in. So it's going to be killer. And then I have another thrift class on Monday the 26th. That is over half sold out. So don't hesitate. Now, right down below here in the YouTube show is the link to sign up for those classes. So if you're in the Dallas area, that's my next class that isn't sold out yet, but is about to be. Whew. All right. I know. Woo! Let's bring the mayor on. Yes, no kidding. Let's get this going here. I got to switch. Our first Hopefully. elected official on Jason T. Smith's show. What? <laughs> I, love what, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I screw it up? No, no, not at all. Oh, right, hang on, hang no on way. Second. Hang on a quick second. Oh, my. Oh, my. There we go. Oh my. And... Boo 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 boo! Yay! <laughs> hey everybody, it's Yay. Don Williams live <laughs> on Thrifty <laughs> Business. Hello, Don, sir. How are you? I'm well, thanks, Jason. Thanks for having me on. Oh, Yay, thanks for coming Don. on. <laughs> so you know, yeah, oh, a... oh, go ahead. Oh, what did you say? But you like the mug? I love it. That is amazing. You know, I have uh, I have almost a thousand mugs on display, and when the guest is coming up, I'm kind of wandering around the house. What should I get? And I did not know about your glass float festival until my friend Kim told me about it because she's been there. And I'm oh, like, great! I'm like, oh, I got a glass float mug, and your name is Don, and I have some Don Q rum. So I'm like, this is easy tonight. Holy cow! <laughs> yeah, we do that uh, about four times a year. Do, uh, we have what, what's called float ferries, and they go out and drop those floats on the beach out in plain Aww. sight. Anyone can come pick them up. They're, <laughs> they're uh, local craftsmen, and they're wonderful. Oh, my gosh. I so want to do that, Mayor. I want to do that. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, I want to come and play. Oh, have you. <laughs> we have the most so, beautiful beaches. Know. Not to sound like a travel log, but <laughs> we have seven miles of open beaches. So Ooh, it's wonderful. Oh. Kim and I are coming. Yeah. We're coming. All right, Robin, interview the mayor for a quick second because I just realized the prop I need, I don't have with me. I'll be right back. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I can, I can, okay, nights. so Don, so Mayor Don, yeah. what is behind you? Are those shirts or is that just curtains or? It's it's shirts, actually, because um, my office is at the local warming shelter. And uh, so oh. I have my room, but they decided they needed to open tonight because we were dropping down below the 40s. Oh, and Yeah. It, the my my doors their doors right by my office and it was not happy <laughs> it was so oh. loud and so I just <laughs> off to the back room and I had nothing so I threw up some of my uh, Hawaiian shirts <laughs> oh I love it oh I love the this fact that you guys time. have a warming oh, station warming. for people that's awesome what a great yeah. thing yeah nice. I got a building at the south end of town and we uh, my wife and I decided to open that up for them and another group oh. is running it but. Yeah. Oh, Mayor, that we love you for that. <laughs> All right. So, well, not tonight. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say why Don came up was coming on originally, and then we kind of, you know, it got a little bit changed because I didn't realize Don's whole story. But <clears throat> recently, Don found this tiki mug. Oh, I gotta and... see. Wait, Jay, hold on. Oh. Let's see it again. Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's the bottom. Nice. And so he, he asked me about it, and I didn't recognize the mug. Shocking. I know that is very shocking <laughs> I know. to everyone listening shocking. right now. So I did my <laughs> research, and this is somewhat of a holy grail, not the kind that makes you retire, but it does not come up very often. And so in my research, I'm like, geez, Don, this doesn't come up too often. I don't yeah. have one. I would like to purchase it. And so Don, I, Don's like, sure. So we came to an agreement, and here it is in the collection. But before it got to me, I go, uh, you know, everyone knows my mom. My mom collects tiki mugs. 
two. I said, Mom, check out this mug I got coming. And then I couldn't find the picture. I couldn't remember where Don and I had conversed. And so I just went over to the thrifting board thinking it was there. And I typed in Don Williams Tiki. Then all these posts showed up. And I had forgotten mm -hmm. how much Tiki Don has found. So when people say they don't ever find it, I'm like, man, Don's on like the, the sacred mound of Tiki <laughs> because it's insane how much he finds. And so right. when I clicked on where he lives, I'm like, Lincoln City, I never heard of it. So I go, look, Lincoln City is like population around 9,000. Like, that's not a big town. And like every month, Don's like, look at this Tiki. Look at that Tiki. I'm like, geez, Don's like the man. Like, he's got the, the touch. And, you know, I was like, <laughs> we got to have him on because I want to, because Don, and I, I'll ask him this in a minute, but he also, he learned from me about it because that wasn't his thing. And nope. so uh, I'm like, cool, let's have Don on and talk about how lucky he is. And then Robin <laughs> sends out a little bio to our guest to fill out, to get ready for the show. And when Don fill out the bio, I'm like, wait, what? So Don, how long have you been the mayor of Lincoln City? <laughs> that, that blew my <laughs> I know, mind. Right I, love it. <laughs> I love well, I, it. I love it so like to, much. I like to tell people I'm serving a five to 10 year uh, <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in my third year of a four year term. Nice, Mayor. Nice. Yeah, so it's been fun. It's it's been a real interesting experience. I never had any political experience before. Um, I just said enough's enough with some of these things and talked to some people, ran and became a mayor. Nice kind of like thrifting. You just go, yeah, I think I'll do that now. <laughs> See what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, one of my admins calls you the Tiki Whisperer because you find so much. And let me tell you. Don is finding a few Sarahs, but man, Don is finding good stuff, stuff I don't have. So it's just, you know, obviously I get it's the luck of the draw kind of thing, but man, Don finds it all. Now, Don is not just a mayor. Nope. Don also is a restaurateur. I, yep. Wait, we're here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, Robin, Robin, you weren't up. Put it back up, Robin. Oh, oh. That, that's right. Don owns four Quiznos. No, <laughs> no. <Bad call. laughs> so so how, how long have you owned subways don oh boy uh i think we're in our 12th year yeah we bought uh originally i'm from portland and we had uh, three in portland two in the washington area um and then just said i just want to move to the coast and so Ooh. we bought a house we're renting it out for a while and then said let's just do this full time um we opened a little cafe here um so i ran that for a couple of years and then uh, started selling them off in Portland. And, and then two came available in Newport, which is the town south of us, about 40 minutes away. And then two in Lincoln City. So I bought them. Very nice. And sold my other ones. Yeah. So it's nice. Got the businesses local. Great people here. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm blessed beyond belief. Uh, I live a, a very charmed life. Oh, <laughs> yay. I love hearing that. Yeah. All right. So Robin, he's, he's the mayor of his town. He owns four restaurants, successful. What the hell, Don? Why in the world did you like, I want to go thrifting and uh, sell on eBay? Uh, you're to blame. Oh. <laughs> it, was, it, was that, it was that thrift hunter show. I just said, you know, right? that looks like a lot of fun. I could do that. And you came to Portland and went through some of the thrift stores in our area. And I, I know that store. Uh, and uh, yeah, so I just, I always wanted to do it. And then the, the funny Aww. thing is, is uh, I just never really did it. I just, in the back of my mind, I'm going to do it. Um, and then, of all things, during the last election cycle, I had contributed money to a certain Republican's campaign. And uh, uh, in exchange, they sent a, a, an autographed book. Well, I got two of them by mistake. So I put one up on eBay. $400 later, <laughs> I'm <hooked> on eBay. <laughs> So I just started looking. I was watching your shows, watching the videos, and uh, uh, it was just starting to make I, was, I did a horrible job at first. Oh, my gosh. Before I <laughs> got involved in the videos and the thrifting board and all that, I, I have piles of records that were going to make me thousands of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> They're all good. You know, I didn't know about the sold filter <laughs> on, the, on, the, uh, uh, on the eBay app. So I bought a bunch of albums that are just gonna sit there for a while till i listen to them and throw them away i guess <laughs> um, yeah I, 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 it was a real learning curve for me um uh but gosh i've had fun i just uh, and, and refine my techniques with each video um i learned so much from from peggy uh and, oh. and the shipping the large items i mean right after her video with 
I don't remember what it was, a huge item they sold. Um, I went out and bought a Dell gaming computer, and that thing came in at 55 pounds. <gasps> and I sold that and shipped it, and, you know, made 100 bucks, and that was all right. That's <laughs> so, awesome, uh, Mayor. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> and that, that Tiki um, mug, the Tiki was the one that really got me because I don't know what it, it, it's, it's kind of like in a class in, in English. Um, when the teacher says, here, write about a dog. I can write about a dog real easy. If they say, write about anything you want, I go, I don't know what I'm going to write about. And so Jason says, here, Tiki. Ah, okay, I'll go look for Tiki. So it's just on my radar. Every time I go out somewhere, I'm looking for Tiki. We have one nice. goodwill. Gotcha. We have one goodwill in our town. You got to keep looking all the time. One yeah, goodwill? You... One. That's it. <laughs> it's a small town. It's a small town. Yeah, 87. Well, well the, the, the Google population says 8722. But if you go yeah. to the thrifty board and type in Don Williams Tiki, you will see just tons of posts of both, hey, I found some cool shit or, hey, I found some bad stuff. And it, it's amazing. You know, I can't remember another person that has this much luck rolling across the stuff. And it's not just mugs. It's, oh, I just saw oh, the paper or something. Uh, it's not just mugs. It's it's platters. It's uh, oh, let's see. That's a uh, oh the Coco Joe's uh, desk set thing. Well, yeah, this Coco nice. Joe's desk set. Oh, so, look see, at all that. <laughs> so Don's even so good now, Robin. Robin, he noticed this Trader Vic's fog cutter mug sitting in the Christmas section, where most people oh, wouldn't have even noticed that. They wouldn't have. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you that the one that uh, you bought, Jason, was a good story because it came from just listening to people and, and, and reading up, uh, like, don't give up. If you find something, there's probably more of it. Well, I was over in the mug section, which I like to go. I like mugs. Um, and there were some of these, I, I don't know, you call them dad mugs from the sixties, the old bar ones where it's, you know, here, hold my drink while I go pee. Kind yep. of thing. <laughs> and there was a, and there was a bunch of them and I looked them up. They weren't worth anything, but I'm going, there's some stuff here. Someone emptied out dad's bar. Oh, my and, favorite one right there, mayor. I love so, it. I'm looking around, back, and and there it was, and I knew it was part of the same set. It's like okay, sold. I bought it. I think two ninety nine, three ninety nine, and uh, didn't have a clue what it was, but I knew it was a nice one. It wasn't poorly made, so eh. and there we go. Nice. And then you yeah, know then you you posted this one last last June, and you're like, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but I knew because I have a couple in my collection. It's a it's a Genghis Khan Tiki mug. Oh yeah, that one was weird. But you knew enough to grab it, sir. That's what's what's great is you knew enough to grab it. You're like, I gotta. This is something. Yeah. Well, isn't it? That's something you learn over time. I think is is to recognize quality from junk, and it was a quality piece. I had no idea what it was, but someone took some care making it. Oh, and yeah. the hardest yeah. thing to figure out was why was that divot in the middle? And then we found out. Oh, you put dry ice underneath it on a platter and the dry ice, come, the, the steam comes out through those holes in the mouth. And so that'd be a pretty cool presentation. Oh, I just oh, yeah. learned something. I just learned something, you guys. I didn't know that. So you put dry ice under the mug <laughs> and out of the holes comes, oh, that is so cool. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then that there's another really cool. one. I think uh, the, the Bookum Dano one. I don't know if you have yep. that picture. Yep. But, I got it up right um, now. It is uh it uh, Tiki Farm did a series of four people. They did um, Jack Lord, Bookum Dano. They did uh, Tiny Bubbles, Don Ho. They did Magnum PI, and I forget the fourth one, but Magnum PI is the big one. But uh, <laughs> but that's a funny one. If you go yeah. back in the, in the chain of the conversation, I was in a uh, antique store and I took a picture of some fish mug. I go, well, what's this one? And this worth anything? And um, I forget who piped in, but I thank him and. Uh, he says, "Well, you want the one behind it, not that one." <laughs> so, I was out of I went out of town for the weekend, and I'm just going, "Oh, I hope it's there. I hope it's there. I hope it's there." And I came back; it was there. Boom! I'll take it. Oh, that's yeah, so but cool. Again, Ray was the the one who told you to get yes, the uh, yeah. book of Dano. Yeah. and so you bought it for eighteen and sold it for ninety five dollars. Nice. Yeah, but see, again, that's nice. that, from your class. You you were talking one night about uh, don't be afraid of antique stores. And so we've got five antique stores in town. And so that's where I started. And I think that's where I got that first seahorse mug. Well, so let's go to that. Let's bring it up. There we go. Oh, I love that so much. Yeah. So I went in there and uh, it was in a case. And there was a whole bunch of the Sarahs on the shelf. And I knew that. I knew enough about Sarahs, you know, the parrots and all that stuff. 
Uh, and then I saw that in a case. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll press my luck a little bit. I think he had it at 60 or whatever, but I got 20 bucks off of it just by asking. And so nice. took it home. Bam, that, that thing was gone fast. So over 200 <laughs> I went back and got it. Went to... And $50. That yeah. is so, so exciting. That was, I was listening to what Jason said is, you know, that, that, that long dime or the short nickel. Like, well, I'm going to yeah. start. Gonna, uh, there weren't many online. Um, there weren't many pink ones that had sold. Right. Some green ones, I think some blue ones. But this was unique, and it was in great shape. And so bought it. And then I come to find out, uh, I, went, I was telling Jason earlier that um, I went back because they had another one. And I said, well, can I get the same price? And, well, we'll call the owner. They call the owner. And the owner says, well, you know, those are going for over $200 now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, thanks to me. Yeah. Damn <laughs> it. <laughs> Oops. Well, how about just ten dollars off? <laughs> so, oh my. Oh yeah, my I, got that one and I flipped that one pretty quick though. I didn't I didn't hold out on that one. But but you know what I, I wanna point out is is Don wasn't afraid, Robin, to spend money to yeah. make bigger money. We all want to find the quarter items my mother finds, but that's not yeah. always a reality. Yeah. So if you could buy a tiki mug for 40 or 50 bucks and flip it for 250, do it. Right? Oh do not God. be afraid of it. If you yeah. know your stuff or you have experts like me or Robin or any of my, anybody in the 13 board that is an expert in something. If you know them and can ask and say, Hey, is this worthy? If they say, yay, don't be worried. You know, you're going to make your money. I will spend $50 every day, all day to sell for $250. Every day. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. in honor of you, Mayor Don, I found my first, and mind you people, I I'm with Jason a lot, and I find a lot of Tiki with him or Kim or Jimmy Boy, but I never find my own Tiki that's worth some money. I found my first one. Can you see her? Isn't she beautiful? I do. And it's beautiful. she's a mermaid. And look what I paid. I kept the price on just for everybody because I wanted you guys to know that I walked in. It was, I, I had a, you know, a scan down in Vegas, blah, blah, blah. But it was a 50% off day. I didn't know. I just walked in because I was kind of, you know, needing to, you know, get out of the four wall thing. It was 50% off of a dollar ninety nine. <laughs> and guess where I found this? I found this in the base area, just like Mayor Don found his other one. But look at her. Isn't she beautiful? And look, I've got beautiful. Finn, How fun. And the cheeky, and the book. I know. And I'm so excited. My first one. But of course, I'm keeping her. I'm not selling her. Sorry, you guys. But yeah. So that <laughs> so was hey, in honor of you, sir. Hey, Thank Don, you. has has the Coco Joe's uh, desk set sold yet? No, I, I jacked that up to 75 bucks, and it's sitting there. It's got some watchers, but. It, you know, it's a, okay. you know, and for those of you who don't know, Coco Joe's was kind of like uh, the tchotchke you would buy if you went and visited Hawaii in like the 60s or 70s. And you're like, oh, geez, I got to take ho home something for the kids or the or my mother or my grandmother or my aunt or whatever. And so they took all these little, uh, you know, uh, tiki's and and a, a lot of ashtrays. I got tons of Coco Joe's ashtrays. <laughs> but this know. is a kick ass death set still sealed with yeah. the pens. And yeah. I'm like, man, that is cool. So let me tell you, Don, if that doesn't sell in the near, near future, I'll buy it off you because that's a cool piece. <laughs> it's, yours. it's yours. Hey, just any way to say thanks. I mean, honestly, oh. I, 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 it wouldn't even so be sweet. in my inventory if, if, if it weren't for the show. Oh, no, I hope you can make big money. But, you know, I always tell people, too, especially when it comes to Tiki, you should buy it. <clears throat> Here's your title. Here's what it should sell for. If it doesn't sell, I'll buy it off you because that way you have no no risk. No risk. There you because go. I'll, I'll well, to my you know, it, it's uh, this is f almost foolproof if if you're a member of the thrifting board, the secret beach, and you've got an internet connection on your phone. Uh, it, it's <laughs> it, it's hard to go wrong yeah. unless you really just you know fall in love with an item and you're just going to buy it anyway. <laughs> or, or fight what you know to be wrong, and you're going to buy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's uh, it, it's out, the information's out there. the The thrifting board has been amazing. You know, I got scolded a couple times, like, "Well, why don't you do your own research?" <laughs> well, because I got 20 people behind me who want the same thing. <laughs> Could you just help me out now? And yeah. uh, you know, those estate sale panics. You know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Joe's came. So, All but, right. You so. Know, yeah. 
you're not only tiki guy you got some you got a crazy variety of scores so let's let's talk about your most recent scores your first one is this uh chocolate brown m m retail oh that is so oh, that awesome. was another one thanks to your mom and dad <laughs> i just i i saw it uh, and i said okay i'll buy it uh shipping be damned and so, oh i that, love i her. wish i had pictures of the rap job <laughs> Wait, you remember what you paid for it Bob? Uh, yeah, I actually bought that off of shopgoodwill.com. I paid $30. I'm, I'm really have limited access to anything thrift. I've been doing a little bit more and more on that, and I have to drive to Hillsboro, which is about two hours away from here. Uh, but I can pick it up for free there. I don't have to pay shipping. So then I go visit family and friends while I'm in Portland. So it works. That's a That's a cool piece. It really we're, is. We're, we're going to switch total gears here. Boston Scientific Precision Charging System. What the hell is that? I, what is that? <laughs> you know, it's, it's just, a, I have no idea and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bring this stuff home and my wife goes, who wants that? I don't care. <laughs> Good point. Good point. <laughs> it, but I was just over in the over in the electronic section and saw this. Nice. It was a nice box. Nice. I know that's a good name. And so I look up on uh, uh, eBay Souls, like, wow, okay, I'm buying it. And I think that was twelve ninety nine. Oh, and uh, yeah, gosh. electronics. Oh my gosh, I'm killing on electronics now, especially nice. the older stuff and older testing equipment. You know, forty five dollars minimum for some of these things, and uh, they oh, ship super easy. Really I wrap them up, you know, foam them basically, and off they go. Mm -hmm. So, so again, I got something. You, you, you sent me these scores. I go, what the hell are these things? Sunbeam, rocket <laughs> grill, 36 it, refills. What, what? Those are so cool. It, yeah. Uh, and I have a rocket grill and I can't sell it for the same price as I'm offering these bags. Nobody <laughs> wants the new rocket grill, but they want the bags. And I, 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 I don't even know what a rocket grill is. is. What is it? I don't even know what it is. Uh, I, it, it's, you put food in a pouch and you drop it down like mm -hmm. a toaster. Right there. That's pretty much it. Yeah. It's so cool, Jay. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. I'm about to go YouTube that later. <laughs> yeah, it, but it's one of those things that uh, people really love and um, hang on to. It's a good product. But when you run out of those things, I don't think they're made anymore. So I, I was in, um, uh, where was I? Actually, I was in Newport, and there was a Humane Society thrift store. And there on the floor was a bag full of 13 of those. They wanted $39. I looked at the price. I can get third, you know, twenty nine for one of them. Okay, I'll buy them, and I've sold four of them so far. There you go. That's awesome. Yeah. Hey, so I hate to interrupt, but but I saw a really cool question in here, and it's one of from one of uh, Jason's lifeguards. Angela, I'm gonna kind of put you on the spot, but she wanted to know if you're consistent. Uh, your consistence. Look, I can't even say it. <laughs> Do your people know that you're an eBay seller. What? Do your Come people on, what's that word? Constituent. <laughs> You want, you want to ask it, constituents. I had it in my head. I had it in my head. <laughs> um, so, yes, yeah, yeah. Um, and honestly, it's it's really been fascinating to be a, a thrifter and mayor because as I walk through the store, uh, it's a small town. So yeah. everyone knows everyone. Oh, I didn't know you are doing that. Yeah, I'm doing that too. Hey, why did you guys vote that way last night? <laughs> you know? Oh, and, I love and, it. <laughs> and, and that in the post office. I'm telling you, if I ever run for office again, I'm just going to hang around at the post office because yeah. everybody in town goes to the post office. And mm -hmm. uh, so, no, it, it's it's worked out fine. It's been fun. Um, just one of those weird things you got to do, you know. <laughs> yeah, All right, so Mayor I Don, would... I'm going to give you a little bit of advice now. Your your titles are very short. They need some more words. Even though you get good money for your stuff, <laughs> this is the uh, th this is the the old school flip clocks that I tell everyone to look for. And you know, I see a lot of your titles have like four words, five words. Definitely expand on that. I mean, you're getting good money, but with with even more keywords, bring more eyes. <laughs> I agree. I agree. And I have been trying to work on that. My descriptions. I get comments all the time, like, did you really sell that with just saying clock? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I yeah. can't hate on you. You're making money, but maybe yeah. you should be making more money. Who yeah, you just got to pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. You know, do you remember how much you paid for this awesome <laughs> clock, Don? Oh, that was, uh, I don't think it was more than $12. Oh. 
Okay, yeah. everybody, everybody, we're going to that little town of Lincoln, and we're going to eat yeah. Subway every <laughs> single day. <laughs> Yeah, well, now, again, but, I don't, I don't remember where I saw, it, but those, those flip clocks are just the bolos from heaven. I mean, oh yeah, yeah. they are big money. I think someone was posted something about it uh, about the one from Back to the Future. Uh, and oh, so like, wow. what about the I'm future? Goes eyes open, and sure enough, the next, next week, yeah, the next week it was there in the store. I bought it. Just like the Babe Ruth calling the home run, you know, man. I'm telling yeah. you what, Mayor Don, you got some really cool stuff in your store. I might be actually Thanks. shopping soon in your <laughs> store. <laughs> All right, so I like I like that Don I like that Don sent us this one because the Benny Hanna mugs are not technically tiki mugs, but they're on the fringe. Right. Most tiki mug collectors will have some Benny Hanna type mugs. And boy, Don, you found a nice rare one. Oh my gosh, a beautiful one. Oh, thanks. Yeah, there was actually two of them. Um, I've got a, a, a guy one, and I don't, I could never, didn't get around to finding his name. So I've still got to post it, I think. Or maybe I do. I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sure Jason would know the name. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pull it and post it. I'm not well versed in the Benihana ones, but I know the ones that are rare. So when I see them, I'm like, you know, the, the Buddha like this is like a dime a dozen. But right. And, right. and, and that was in that set where I found your mug. There, there was there was like twenty Benny Hanna's up there and big round head one and uh, you know the, the usual. But it was interesting. I was watching some of the things you've talked about: thin walls, thick walls. You know, previous ones, newer ones. And so it's like, okay, these are odd enough. I'll, I'll risk the dollar ninety nine yeah. head on it. You went with your so. gut, which is Jason it, talks about that too. Nice return on a yeah, buck ninety nine, yeah. sixty bucks. Now let's switch. <laughs> let's really switch gears. Snowsuits. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that one set me back three dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> oh, nice! I nice. Was channeling Peggy. At all. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, that's a beautiful one, and uh, I, I took a bunch of low offers and like, nah, come on, this is a good, this is mm -hmm. beautiful, and so I hung on to it, and then uh, got got a good price. Good but job. Just like Robin and myself, not all things Don picks. Oh, wait, this one's a winner still. Sorry. Oh, yeah. This I was one's still say, a winner. Oh, then the next one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did I put the Impala in there? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 155 bucks. Woo! This one was just a, um, we have a, a local electronic shop that used to be a radio shack and, you know, most of them went out of business, um, but he kept a lot of his inventory. And there's just a pile of RC cars there and I had to dig through them all. And, uh, you know, luckily I know the owner and, hey, can, what are you going to sell this for? Oh, 30 bucks. I said, okay, that's, that's fair. And there you go. Uh, the one I didn't put up nice. there, I actually bought a battery pack for and I sold it for over 200. I paid oh, $30 wow. for a battery for it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of right, out of my wheelhouse. Yeah. Oh, and a plus. Me too. But it's well, a now, little now we're, on the, now we're on the Don's uh, duds. <laughs> but I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Don a few more tips too on his duds. Okay. So the, the first dud is the uh, the Hooter plush from Captain EO. Oh my gosh, I totally remember that. <laughs> so, so Don, here here's what I would have recommended in this title is you know who who is Captain EO. Everyone say it with Michael me. Michael Jackson. Michael yeah. Jackson. Yeah. yeah. So I would definitely throw Michael in the title because Michael oh, is Michael. Captain EO. Good call. Yeah, these were, uh, you know, I've only been doing this a year. So this was one of my first efforts. You'll notice the construction paper. <laughs> hey, still good, though. Yeah, and it actually went to someone. I got one of the nicest notes. You know, this is Aww. for my daughter. Oh, that went makes to it Disneyland to see that. And I love that. that that's yeah, we do part. too, Mayor Don. And then your public enemy shirt. I'm shocked I didn't go for more. I know. Me too. <sighs> it's driving me crazy. It just Jesus, look at the better. title. What? Oh, no sales tax. So, so what's the no sales tax in your title there, Don? Hey, I'm just trying to get, uh, I'm fishing. <laughs> okay, so, so here's what I would have added, because the two main guys in Public Enemy are also very famous, Chuck D and Flavor Flav. So I would have definitely added those to the uh, title, plus you didn't have a size in the title. Uh, so those kind of things, those kind of bonus keywords help draw eyes. Because someone might be like, oh, I love Flavor Flav. I didn't know he was in a band called Public Enemy. You know, you, you got to put as much uh, in your title as you can 
<laughs> so hopefully get yeah, more people point. looking at it. Great point. I, I have and see that. Yeah, I've got to work on that. I really do. Well, I'm is this a, that, was that an older one, Don? Like, was that an uh, Mayor Don? Was that an I, older one? I have no idea. <laughs> oh yeah, you're it. like Jason. I, go, and I, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think a buck and a half shirt, and so I said, you know, I. I, I I gotta get my buck and a half back, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got you got some cute Tupperware here, but I'm gonna guess, like, kind of like Pyrex, there might have been a name for this look mm-hmm. and, uh-huh. and this specific color. And those are the kind of things that people who are putting a kitchen together, like, oh, I need that, you know, that pea green with the flower on it. <laughs> with the, it's so, not a flower, that's a starburst. <laughs> starburst, what, whatever it well, is. There you go. But you know, that's where Don, if you use the group. You know, my mom might know, or some of the older ladies might know what this You're right. specific color and design is called. Yep, yep, I, I can't disagree with that. There's Still there's there. areas I really Still just. Cool. <laughs> well, honestly, it's all about time. Oh uh, yeah, you know, but I love your photos. I love, and... I love the stacked up one, and oh, I love thanks. the little pyramid too. I love those photos. Yeah, thanks. I'm trying. Yeah. I, I I do pay attention to what you talk about and, and grouping and. Um, and I bought some lights finally, and so yeah. Oh, and then last but not least, you have this Nike, uh, Nike Air Ladies watch. It didn't go for too much. <laughs> ah, that frustrated me because I was trying to get my son into uh thrifting, and so we went to a garage sale. and He used to work for Nike, and he, he saw that, and I go, oh, That's great, let's sell that. And it sat, and it sat, and it sat, and uh. <laughs> I thought it was a Nike, I thought it was a company watch because I could not find any examples of it anywhere, but. He made five bucks, so there you go. Five bucks is five bucks. All right, Robin. So we're going to end on this. So Don, tell us what your uh, your kind of uh, goal is. I saw you made a post in the thrifting board with your lovely little granddaughter holding a twenty dollar bill. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. And so, my, so my granddaughter London. What, what, what do you uh, want to do with, with your your eBay ness? Well, my my granddaughter seven years old, and I've been waiting for a time when we could talk math. And uh, she would understand the concept of addition, subtraction, and yeah, she has a goal. She wants to buy some gigantically expensive American Girl trailer, and it's two hundred thirty dollars. And so, you know, she was doing chores around the house. And how much do you have? Oh, I've got about thirteen dollars. <laughs> like, oh, come on, we can do better than that. So, just trust Grandpa. We're going to go out and shop, and but you got to trust what Grandpa picks. And so, she was just totally good to her word. Um, she just listened, and I said, I think we could sell this. So we bought some vintage set of pull-out drawers or whatever, and uh, three ninety nine sold it for twenty four ninety nine. And so I posted a picture of her with her $20 bill and just happy as can be. Oh, that's so cute. And so, so now cute. every phone call, every time she comes out to the coast, it's, Grandpa, let's go thrifting. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so she bought a, uh, 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 what's the name of it? It's, a, it's like an American girl, our generation. Oh, uh, yeah. It's an our generation food truck. Now we spent a little about forty dollars for it, but we should clear eighty to ninety dollars on that when we're done. The funny thing is, they brought it home. My wife says, "You can't sell that. It's too cute." <laughs> <laughs> like, so I let her play for play with it for the night. She was great, and I said, "What do you want to do with this thing? Sell it, Grandpa." <laughs> oh, good girl. <laughs> yeah, she's got she's got her goal. But um, one thing, when I was running for mayor, um, Lincoln City, of course, is a small town. We don't have a rail line, a port, anything like that for commerce or even big jobs. But we do have an Internet connection and we do have, you know, FedEx, UPS and all that. And it was always kind of a dream of mine to get people started in their own businesses with e-commerce. And so that's why I've just been going as fast and as hard as I can with this to be able to at some point, probably when my term is up in uh, November, to start having classes and start bringing kids in from the high school and, and anyone out who wants to participate. I've been mentoring a couple of people in town and trying out my, I don't know, spiel on it for lack of a better <laughs> word. You know, like, here, here's what I've learned. Here's my mistakes. Here's my, you know, my scores and my duds. And uh, yeah. uh, just teach them to get past that fear of postage, you know, and shipping. That That's what scares everybody. And, uh, so that's kind of my goal. I want to. I want these kids to have a an idea that there's more out there than, well, gosh, working at Subway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was kind of a slap and tickle to yourself. What the heck? 
hey, they can work both of them. I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. funny. It's all good. <clears throat> Yeah, but we've That's got great, uh, a Peter. really great community here, and uh, um, but it, it is one of the poorer counties in, in Oregon, and uh, I think people could do uh, just a little supplemental income couldn't hurt anybody. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so uh, Debbie, my associate producer, said, "Yay, Don, pay it forward." Man, I'm going really to lose my voice. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. You know, it's it's crazy how you you look at one thing and I thought, okay, we're only going to talk to Don about Tiki. And I didn't realize until I found out that Don's the mayor, that Don is a restaurateur, that Don wants Don wants to teach teenagers. He's teaching his granddaughter. And Don, I ain't calling you old, but I love the fact that an older generation is teaching the youngest generation okay. about making a dollar and how to use the tools of like online and your your phone Absolutely. your ipad whatever and it's it's so cool to me that you know you're like i don't know nothing about tiki but i took jason's webinar and i absorbed it and i keep finding it and i keep selling it and i sold the kick-ass one to the man himself there you go <laughs> uh, that, 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 i'm still that, looking for that severed question. head one though i'm gonna find it <laughs> i will find that severed head mug <laughs> hey you know it's you know it's all about keeping your eye on the prize don and you, you've got your eye on so many prizes but somehow ah. you find time in your day to hit them all and that's just it's, it's amazing to me i'm so glad that we had you on tonight the chat just oh, loves you to death they all oh, want to come visit they all want to come hang out in lincoln city <laughs> it is beautiful I, I you know i'm not just talking because i'm the mayor it's it's one of the most beautiful towns in oregon so come on out say hi and they have and they have great Sammy places. They got Subway. <laughs> there you go. Yep, yep. Come out for the kite festival in the spring and the fall. You would. Oh, I love it. that. It's, it's yeah. Look it up online. It is spectacular. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you everyone for tuning in live. We had a great, huge live audience tonight. Thank you for all of you who tune in afterwards. Uh, I will not. We will not be on next week because I'll be in Kansas City teaching a class. Yay. Now, you are coming to Portland, right, at some point? Yes, yeah, Portland will be on the schedule. For those of you looking for my classes, we, we're not announcing, like, a whole schedule at once, like a right. man would announce a tour, just a date. Like, we're just finishing up getting Dallas sold out, and then St. Louis is getting announced next. And so every couple of weeks, we'll announce another city. <clears throat> so Portland is coming, and Portland is one of my favorite cities in the entire country, so I cannot wait to get up there. Uh, but well, I'll uh, be there, tune too. In. Tune in two weeks from tonight. We'll be back talking about postcards. Right, Robin? Yay! Yay! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I haven't bought one of those yet. <laughs> <clears throat> so uh, th thank you, Don. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Debbie, for being in the chat, taking care of the questions. Thank you, everybody. And uh, Mom and I will be on this Saturday. I will announce the time and date. Or not the date. It's Saturday. <clears throat> or maybe Sunday. I'll let you know. <laughs> The cold medicine is getting to my <laughs> head. On his so voice. With that, I'm going to say good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everybody. Let's